Oh, here we go. All right. Fifth time's the charm. This is totally not my fifth time recording this. Not at all. Hi, everybody. Skylar Star Drift here. And welcome to this random, off-the-cuff, completely stupid video that I just had a random idea to record it. Uh, the thing is, everything is set up, ready to go for a stream that I will be doing this week. I've actually got three games coming up this week because we finished everything last week. So, I've got to pick three new games. I'm mega excited to play all three of them. One of the games that I will be playing is something that I have played in the past. Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Yellow version. Now, whilst I was getting all this set up, because I have to set delays and everything else for, like that for the microphone and the Elgato, because the Elgato adds a video delay, so I have to match that to the um, microphone. Anyway, I had a very silly idea. See, the reason why we are revisiting these games, or I say revisiting, is because I started streaming Pokemon Yellow version and Pokemon Stadium way back in 2022 I streamed it for like f several hours longer than usual on my birthday um and we played all the way through the game like over the course of a few months of course not all in one day we ended up playing through the entire game beat the elite four yada 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 didn't do all of the challenges in Pokemon Stadium we left it so that I could um grind levels anyway Soon after Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Yellow version concluded, we moved on to Pokemon Crystal version and Pokemon Stadium 2. At one point during Pokemon Stadium 2 slash Crystal, I decided we needed to transfer some of the Pokemon that were capable of being transferred back to Generation 1, Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Yellow version, so that I could teach them TM moves that I had duplicated back when we played Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Yellow version. I was in the process of doing this when all of a sudden Pokemon Stadium it was either Stadium 1 or Stadium 2 and I think it might have been Stadium 2 suddenly had a major error and my entire save file for Pokemon Yellow version became completely corrupted. I could not restore it no matter what I did and the game even told me hey you need to take it out and put it back in you need to take out the control uh, the transfer pack and put it back in. I tried everything that the game told me to do and the only thing I could do eventually was to turn off the system. Which of course corrupted the entire save file, not of Pokemon Stadium 2, but of Pokemon Yellow version. Pokemon Yellow version was completely lost and I was beside myself. Because all of the Pokemon that I had on well some of the pokemon that i had on pokemon stadium 2 had just been transferred to pokemon yellow version so they were lost as well what bites the most is i had the capability of backing up that save data i actually have a little um cartridge reader writer that can import and export save data so i had the ability to do this and i opted not to do it that particular night I lost so much progress it wasn't even funny, to the point where Pokemon Yellow version was reset to before the Elite Four. We were at the Elite Four, but we hadn't beaten them. I was left with a difficult decision on what to do next. About a month or two pass, and I decide, you know what, what's lost is lost, I will just pick up Pokemon Stadium 2 slash Crystal version where we left off. Unfortunately, this was back when my Charizard, who had just evolved, my shiny Charizard, who had just evolved into a Charizard, was now back as a level 5 Charmander. I decided, look, I may as well just reset or something and just move everything over. You know, I'll be... let's, let's restart. Just as I was getting into that, or deciding to do it, I went to move all of the streams over to my archive hard drive. Now I have a bad habit where I shift delete things using Windows. Uh, I shift delete things when I delete, when I copy them over to another hard drive. 
Once they are copied, I shift delete them off of my computer because I don't like them taking up space, and if I leave them in the recycling bin, they will take up space. Guess what happened? I moved Pokemon Stadium 2 slash Crystal version over, thought it was Pokemon Stadium slash Pokemon Yellow version, deleted all of the Pokemon Yellow version slash Pokemon Stadium streams, and then realized what I had done. So all of the streams are also lost. And I downloaded a couple of free pieces of software that claim that they do backups, or not backups, but like they can restore deleted save files, or deleted files I should say. I could not find them. The one software that did work found the file names, but the files were like one megabyte in size. And yes, they were video files, but they were completely blank with no video whatsoever. So it was all lost, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to take a massive break from this. That leads us to today, where basically I'm saying, hey, I'm going to replay Pokemon Stadium, I'm going to replay Pokemon Yellow Version, we're going to do what I did, not fall into the same mistakes. We're going to fix things and make sure that I back up my save file after every stream. And then I had a stupid idea, the dumbest idea in the whole entire world. What can we salvage from this? And then I realized that I had duplicated a bunch of TMs and, well not HMs, but TMs and even the Master Balls using the Missing No Glitch. And I figured, you know what? I'm going to start shifting everything over. I'll start seeing if I can shift all over all of the items. And that brings us to this video today. I'm gonna... hang on. Ugh. Pika indeed. Alright. Well, welcome to whatever this is. Welcome to I try to salvage what is left of my Pokemon Yellow version after what happened. So the idea here is to move over all of my save... Well, not all of my save file, but all of my items to a system where I can recover them. Now, I did a little bit of experimentation. By the way, say hello to my personal copy of Pokemon Red version. I've had that since I was a kid. Um, no, no, that's a lie. That's not the same Red version, it's a different Red version. So, if we head into my Pokemon Yellow version here, this is Pokemon Stadium 1, right? I can head into the PC, head into the item box. And you'll see here that I have 98 Master Balls. 28 of TM24. Uh, you know, I've got a... Numbers that shouldn't be reflected in the game thanks to the Missing No Glitch. Which, by the way, this is not going to be a guide for the Missing No Glitch. This is just a really, really stupid idea. My setup was already there, so I've decided to just fucking record this shit. <laughs> Someone help me. Um, alright. So, if I change this to the N64, we can also see, you know, TM08, I've got 50 body slam because I actually just moved some over. Um, I've got 98 of TM 14, 98 of TM 15, you know, I've got a ridiculous amount. Okay, so. Uh, what have we got on the PC? We've got 37 out of 40 items. Alright. Because what I want to do is I want to go over to the N64 game pack. And let's move. Team away back up to ninety-three. Let's move the master balls as well, so I don't have to worry about that. Have I got any other TMs in here? No. Nope. Yes, I do. I've got twenty-eight TM. What is that, TM24? Okay, let's move... 
TM24 over. TM33, I have a lot of that. TM29, I'm not gonna care too much about the extras. Um, and TM50 is probably down the bottom somewhere. Yeah, alright, cool. Alright, so, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change this to items held. I have 16 out of 20 items, I'm gonna move as much as I can into my items that are held. Ooh, that Moonstone could actually be really useful. Hang on. Let's keep that too. Um... PP up. Aethers. Alexis. Destination is full of items. Ah, okay. Uh, alright, hang on. Let me think. If I change that to the N64 game pack... There is not a way I can just throw out items, is there? That's a bit annoying. Alright. But if I go... Back to the PC and move some items over. Uh, what have I got that's held? Anything important? I mean, there is all the... Vitamins. So there's 64 items total that I need to move over. All right. This is the dumbest idea. Um, all right. So everything that I need to move over is now on the N64 game pack, and that may not make a lot of sense. But... It's interesting that I can't delete items. At least from here I can't. So I can move 25 over at a time. So let's go to boxes. No, that's Pokemon. <laughs> that's Pokemon, hang on. Uh, let's go to the N64 game pack. Skyless PC. Dumbest idea. But, I think in the long run it's gonna save me from having to do the freaking missing no glitch time and time again. So let's move over as many as we can. I'll just put them in my PC for now. Because I think that's probably gonna be better. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
items okay save and quit now just to show you guys this as well what I tried to do originally was now that all of the items are on the um, game pack right let me just up let me just double check that and confirm that they're all on the n64 game pack or they're where I need them to be I think they're in the PC yeah they're in the PC okay that's fine Alright, but we also saw that I had plenty of stuff still in the game pack. I'm going to show that off too. Not the Pokemon. I'm going to show off what I've got in the game pack. Uh... Yeah, so we still got all that in the game pack, right? Now if I back out, go back in, change over to red version, I just realized the machine is right there. Um, we then head over to the PC, right? This shows what I've got on my Pokemon Red version, but if we move over to the N64 game pack, there's nothing there. Which I found particularly interesting. So I had a quick Google, and it turns out that if we just... Oh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe if we... Just head on over here for a second and um, flick this little switch and uh, take this game out of there and maybe put this one in and we turn this one on. And uh, the Elgato messes up. Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. I was gonna say, <laughs> don't you give me lit. If we, if we, uh, oh, I don't know. Just flick on over to this, uh, to this particular game here. Certainly seems a little different, doesn't it? It's definitely not, st it's, it's definitely Stadium, right? <laughs> totally not Stadium 2. Well, apparently, if we do this... And we head into White City... And... Professor Oak's lab... And we grab... Yellow cartridge, because that's where everything is... And we grab items and we change this to the color case we can hold up to 250 items uh, so now if we I have no idea if this is all going to work, by the way. And to be honest, I'm going to be deleting this save file for Pokemon um, Yellow version. So it doesn't matter if we lose everything here. I like how it's basically defaulting to the maximum number of items. It feels like this is more, I don't know, efficient? Alright, well that's all I can move. I can't actually move anything else. Um, alright. Data has been changed, so let's save and quit. Right. Now, we can do a quick test here, because I'm interested to see if this actually did work. So, what we can do is we can head over here change over to red version
go to items. Change to the... Oh my lord, it works. <laughs> well! Okay. So with that all done, what we can do is we can move back over to this little switch over here and turn this off. And reinsert a certain other game that is definitely Pokemon Stadium 2 for the Nintendo 64. Absolutely. It's totally not Stadium 1 or anything, and I'm totally not taking full advantage of the situation that I am in. <laughs> oh my lord, this is the dumbest thing. Alright. The reason I'm doing this, by the way, in case I haven't made it clear, is to save a lot of time in the process. The missing no glitch can take a while to set up, and I've already done it, I kinda can't be bothered doing it again. So I'm just gonna do this, and then I'm going to transfer all of those items back over. HMs are infinite use, so we don't have to move those over. Uh, can't really move anything else over. The EXP all, I think that just has to be in your party, even though it's not in battle. I think that just has to be in your bag, so that doesn't matter. I'm not too worried about Ultra Balls and Great Balls because I can just buy them, not too worried about HMs. Let's just check the items held as well, just in case. I've got the Pokey Flute, I've got some Escape Ropes, Nine Rare Candies, some Revives, Lemonades, Full Heals. Yeah, the rest of it I'm not too fussed on. 
I mean, the max repels are nice, but I can buy everything in the game, so... Everything I could, everything else I can buy, it's just mainly the TMs, which I can buy, but some of them are limited. Um, I don't know which ones specifically are limited, but some of the ones that I duplicated definitely are. And I will also duplicate the Master Balls and all of the vitamins as well, just because I'm not spending hundreds of thousands of Poké Dollars on all that. Cool! Well, thanks for this really bizarre video. Thanks for tuning into this really bizarre video, I should say. Uh, because we're basically done. Uh, I think I might clean that Stadium 2 cartridge and see if it works a little better. Um, I don't think it'll wipe anything if I do that, so I should be fine. And even if I am, well, I guess I kind of have a backup of sorts of Pokemon Yellow version. It's backed up to this. The funny thing is the save file is backed up to the point where I did do the TM trick but I didn't beat the Elite Four, so all of the grinding that I did for Stadium stuff has also been lost, and I had almost my entire team up to level 100 and everything. It was a whole thing. So, yeah. Uh, well, thanks for watching this really stupid video that I decided to make because my recording setup was, well, all set up. I'm gonna go clean that cartridge and possibly go to bed because it's like 10.26 p.m. on a Sunday here. So, <laughs> anyway, have a good night, everybody, and uh, hopefully I will see you for Pokemon Yellow version slash Pokemon Stadium.